Hello and welcome back to our mini-series exploring how Ubisoft built the world of Assassin's Creed 2. Today we are once again looking at some of the news items in Venice at this time. Without further ado, let's let the Herald take it away. Notice to all cittadini! Due to the shortage of funds after the recent campaign in defense of the Republic's foreign interests, a levy will be imposed upon all importation of goods deemed non-essential. This serves as a notice about a new levy or tax that will now be imposed on certain goods that are brought into Venice. The Herald specifically mentions that the recent Ottoman-Venetian War, uh, that's the uh, recent campaign in defense of the foreign interests of the Republic, has cost quite a bit of money. The vast majority of this historical campaign revolved around Greece and Albania, and what is important to take away from this is that Venice ended the war the loser, having to cede territory to the ever-growing Ottomans in the east. Even the island of Euboea, a protectorate of Venice for centuries, was turned over to the Ottomans, and as a result of this conflict, Venice now will charge its citizens more for the importation of certain goods. Anyway, let's get back to it. What's the next one? Stati attenti to all merchants dealing with spices from the east. A tariff will be imposed to help fund the cost of maintaining the arsenal. Certain exemptions apply. Consult the full decree to see if you are eligible. Once again, we're talking about problems with the east and taxes because of it. So this is clearly a public notice about an upcoming tax or duty on all spices coming from anywhere east of Venice. At this point in time, Venice had already had some major run-ins with the Ottoman Empire, including the first Ottoman-Venetian War from 1463 to 1479, which had ended just a few years before this game. Um, because of how large Venice's commitments were, they're one of the most powerful forces in the Eastern Mediterranean, if not the Mediterranean at this time. They required quite a large navy and merchant force, and uh, in order to maintain that, People are going to have to pay more, I'm sorry. To all citizens of the most serene republic, following the increase in accidents and drownings upon the Grand Canal, a decree has been brought into effect, barring excessive drinking while at the helm. Fortunately, this one's pretty straightforward. Venice apparently has had a streak of bad luck with drunkenness at the helm uh, in the Grand Canal, which is the largest water traffic corridor in the uh, city. Surprising that there even needs to be a decree here, but yeah, just don't drink and drive, people. Attenzione! The penalties for usury committed by any citizen of Venezia have been revised. These have been posted as amendments to the laws concerning the Coliganza, available for consultation in all uffici comunali. First off, let's talk about usury. So this is the illegal action or practice of lending money at really high rates of interest, which is an absolutely horrible practice uh, to partake in, especially because they usually target the most vulnerable pieces of the population, take advantage of them. Uh, anyway, so this is a notice that the regulations around this have been altered, probably made even more severe, and uh, for those concerned about it, apparently, they can go to local municipal offices. Attenzione! Following the recent festival fire in San Polo, the Doge has decreed that the manufacture of Fuochi d'Artificio be controlled and subject to certain standards. The Guild has the complete list for consultation. Okay, I did a bit of research here. I couldn't find any particular historical fire in San Paolo in Venice around this time. It is, however, important to remember that Basically any fire was a potential city killer and uh, local governments would often do what they could to mitigate the risk. Um, so in this announcement, the doge, not sure if that's the doge that we failed to save or the doge we just killed or maybe the incoming doge, one of those three men has announced that the manufacturing of fireworks is now going to be under more control hopefully to prevent future fires. And that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching our second 
examination of the news of Venice. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time.